Yeah, I saw an awesome living room set last time. Now, how do we convince Mom to do it? Come on, guys, let's load up to go to Jim's furniture. Running for County Treasurer, Joanne is retiring this year, and I'm hoping to win her spot. Um, I'm married, I live in Eagle Town. I'm married to Darrell Aster, he is a chicken farmer. And I have worked for the county for the last, I guess, 16 years. So I work, I know the county government pretty well. I've worked in the county commissioner's office for the last 14, and in the courthouse for about two. Um, I appreciate your vote on July 27th. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Bach? Okay, thank you. My name is Willow Griesel. I've been a district judge for 15 years. Uh, I'm not ready to quit yet. Uh, I appreciate the fact there's nothing wrong with getting a call. I think it's probably good for all of us uh, from time to time, but <clears throat> I'm not ready to retire yet. I can't, but uh, that's not why I want to stay. I'm just now reaching the, what I would call the peak uh, for the prime of my judicial career. Uh, I've got a, briefly, I've got a law enforcement background, I've got uh, 15 years of experience, and we've accomplished a lot of things over the last 15 years. I want to tell you right now that for everything that we have been able to accomplish, that I give God all the praise and glory for that, and I ask, uh, thank you that I'm able to stand up here and ask you to put me back in office. I've had almost uh, a little over 100, actually 102, 103 jury trials that I've presided over in 15 years. Uh, I put that up against any, any state court judge in the state of Oklahoma as far as trial experience. Presided over 34 murder cases in uh, eight different counties. I feel like, uh, you know, one of the reasons that we elect judges, uh, and one of the reasons uh, that judges tend to work until they're about 70 years old, is because we take our life experiences and our legal experiences to the bench with us. And that's what makes a good judge a good judge. And, you know, I, I mean, I can stand up here and say, well, I think I've done a good job all day long. That's sort of a self-serving statement. But I think you'll find that others uh, have found that I've done a good job. Uh, I've been elected to preside over nine counties. We run in three counties. That's Push, McCurtain, and Choctaw counties. Uh, I have a caseload in each of those counties. I preside over felony cases and big civil cases in all three of those counties. I've issued hundreds of legal opinions over the years. But in addition to that, out of 400 state judges, nine are selected to oversee multiple counties, multiple districts. I've been doing that for four years. I'm one of those nine statewide that have been asked to oversee multiple counties. Uh, I've got the same type of responsibilities in all nine counties. I've got Poto, uh, I've got Durant, Toka and everything in between. And I'm proud of that fact because I, I think that means that other judges across the state who have elected me to that feel like I'm doing the, the right kind of job. I've gained their, their trust and their confidence. Uh, in addition, uh, for the last three years, I've been serving on the what's called the Court on the Judiciary. That's a trial court that sits in, in judgment over cases that are brought against other judges, other state judges for misconduct when they are uh, attempting to decide if they should be allowed to continue on the bench or not. And I've been, as I said, sitting on that trial court for the last three years. I was appointed by the Secretary of State to do that three years ago with the approval of the Oklahoma Supreme Court. And once again, only nine out of about 400 judges across the state get to do that. And I'm the first judge from this district, in the history of this district, to ever be asked to serve on either one of those. Uh, the presiding judge over the nine counties or the court on the judiciary. So I, that makes me feel like I can stand up here with confidence and tell you that I, I have their trust, I have their confidence, and, and that I believe I'm doing a good job. And it's for that reason, and you know, I, I want to mention drug court briefly. Drug court sometimes is a controversial uh, uh, program, but drug court has helped a lot of people. A lot of people graduate from three years of drug court and they've been clean for, you know, at least a year. They have to be clean for a year before they can graduate. Some have been clean for three years. And they'll go right back out and they'll get back on that stuff 
but there's a lot of them that have not. Uh, a lot of them. So we've helped to, to, uh, to make them drug-free, alcohol-free, working, tax-paying citizens that's got their children back and they've acquired homes and things and, and uh, have really made a change of life and made us better citizens. So I'm proud of that drug court program. That was the first one in southeast Oklahoma. I started it about seven years ago or so. Anyway, uh, folks, uh, I'm not ready to quit yet. Uh, I think my opponent's time's coming. I hope it's not this time, but uh, I appreciate you voting November 7th.